water, the power of oxygen. So I've come across airlift pumps or pulsar pumps just uh, browsing around the internet a while back and although I thought they were kind of cool I really didn't see myself using them in any of my hydroponic grows. But with the recent hydroponic system I'm trying to build I found that I could actually use it so I decided to look into it a bit more. Fortunately building your own airlift system doesn't require a lot of materials. Really all you need is an air pump that you can get from any pet store, some airline hose or another pipe or tube that you can use to deliver the water where you want it to go. With these very few materials we can build ourselves a pretty cool airlift pump. For this to work all I'm really doing is taking my air hose and putting it to the bottom of the bucket. I want to use the air that this hose is pumping to lift up my water and to do that I'm going to need another piece of pipe or another hose with a larger diameter. I can take this piece right here, put my hose just in the bottom of it, drop it into the bucket, and I'm lifting water. The concept seems pretty simple, but there are quite a few restrictions. You can't just run any length of pipe and expect it to work. There are limitations with how much water you can actually lift and the height you can lift it. You can't just use any size diameter tubing either and expect your pump to be powerful enough to push water up through that. A smaller ID tubing might give you a little less water flow but more travel distance. Hopefully you're able to find a balance and get it working the way you want it to. If you're not a fan of the erratic pulsing of the pump, you can try something like an air stone at the end of your airline to kind of smooth things out just a little bit. If you're interested in more information about pulsar pumps or airlift pumps, make sure you check out Skip Kemp's videos. He is an aquaculture instructor at Carteret Community College in North Carolina. So a link to those will be in the description. Make sure you check them out. And if you want to see how I plan on using this airlift system in my hydroponic system, make sure you check out my next video, which I should be posting pretty shortly. Thanks for watching.